what's happening in Mumbai? Well, phase one from the Worli to Marine Drive was recently opened up of uh, uh, the coastal road that we've been, so many people have been speaking about, which makes traveling from suburbs like Bandra to South Mumbai less than 40 minutes. But is that really possible? Can you actually avoid all the South Mumbai traffic? Well, we put that to test and here's what we found. We figured out that what if you had to not take the coastal road, but take a train, these fast trains that are really out there. Can it really match up on time? Here's what happened. Hello guys, we are back. No point for guessing when me and Stacey are together, but obviously you're going to check out Mumbai's latest infra marvel, the coastal road. I'm really looking forward to what the coastal road has to offer. But what are we doing different this time than we? So we have taken our viewers' suggestions and we have charted out a route from point A to point B. And that is from Bandra Bandstand to Marine Drive via the coastal road. Interesting, that means the coastal road comes in the middle. But how are we going to make this a little more challenging? How about one of us takes a goes to Marine Drive via the coastal road, but okay. the other goes by a different mode of transport? How about taking the Mumbai local? Oh, it will be really challenging because it will give us a fair idea of how much time it takes to travel from western suburbs to South Bombay and how much it will cost. Of course, that cost factor is really what matters and that's something that you need to be watching out for. But who decides this time who's going to mm. take the train and who's going to get to go by the coastal road? Let's, see, let's do rock, paper and scissors again. What say? No, please, I'm not doing rock, paper, scissors again. I know what happened last time around. I got you this time. How about let's settle this, I take the coastal road while you take the train. Okay, I'm always up for the challenge. Fine, I'll see you on the other side and Tanvir, all the best. And let the race begin. Well, this challenge is all about the timing as well as the cost of how much it will take to get from uh, the suburbs towards South Bombay. So let me hail a cab quickly, well, from Bandra Promenade towards Marine Drive is where I'm going to and it's showing me about 350 rupees so that's what it's going to cost me and also around 50 odd minutes so I better get going. Hi Stacey, what's up? You're still here? Yeah, uh, Stacey I think you're going to have a comfortable ride because you're familiar with Mumbai's traffic. You don't worry about me in traffic, you go enjoy the nice body massage you're going to get in the Mumbai local. Oh my cab is already here. Oh. Bandra station. I seem to have got a head start over the leaves since my cab came early. But this is the route I'm going to take. I'm going to use the Bandra Worli ceiling and then connect that to the coastal road, which is going to get me from Worli to Marine Drive. And that's what I'm really looking forward to. And also, because I will avoid all of that South Bombay traffic, which normally I would get from Haji Ali towards Pedder Road and then to Gilgaut or Party. So because of the coastal road, all of that hopefully is what I'm going to avoid. So Bandra to Marine Drive, my journey has begun. So guys, as you can see, I'm in the auto rickshaw right now and I'm moving towards Bandra Railway Station. Let me explain you how I'm going to reach Marine Drive. So first, I need to reach Bandra Railway Station, get into the church gate from local train, reach the church gate station, and from there on, I will need a cab to reach end point of Marine Drive. And I hope I reach before Stacey. It's very fun. Without wasting any time, I swiftly made my way into the Bandra Railway Station and successfully boarded the targeted train without any delay. While I was able to board a 957 Goregao Churchgate local train, Stacey had already crossed the Bandra Worli ceiling. Tanvi had just crossed Mahim, whereas I had reached the worldly end of the Bandra Worli ceiling in just about 20 minutes. And finally, I was all set to enter the coastal road. I'm on the coastal road finally and it has been such a smooth ride so far and of course the fact that I avoid all of that traffic that would otherwise be from Haji Ali getting towards Pedder Road, all of that 
you know my clothes it is a clear smooth ride i'm like swifting away in the breeze i would say and that's what the coastal road is meant for and more importantly there's no toll so nothing is added to my budget in this trip i soon made my way to the undersea tunnel a popular attraction along the coastal road and unlike other parts of the road the tunnel has a reduced speed limit of 60 kilometers per hour and has three lanes one of which is reserved for ambulances and buses what makes this 2 km tunnel truly unique is the fact that at one point it reaches a depth of 75 meters below malabar hill it is an incredible feature of engineering in heat this he had almost reached the destination that is i had just reached lower peril guys i managed to reach marine drive in less than 40 minutes that's what the coastal road has shortened my journey time from bandra to a uh, marine drive this promenade i'm enjoying the sea view and that's what people are going to get if they do use that coastal road and guess where the need is he's still stuck in the train he is going to be getting off at church gate and that's where i'm going to meet him right here but i guess we'll have to wait for him As you can see, I've reached the Churchgate station. I quickly need a cab to reach Marine Drive because Stacy has already reached there. Well, it was your day today. That's that's no doubt about it. But can you tell me how much did it cost you to come from Bandra to Marine Drive? Well, the cost was about three uh, fifty odd for my cab and another eighty five for the Bandra Valley toll. So total of about four hundred and thirty five rupees. Four thirty five rupees. How much did it cost you? <laughs> Only one twenty rupees. You know, I mean fifty for auto rickshaw. The forty rupees ticket from uh, Bandra to Churchgate and thirty rupees from Churchgate station to the taxi till Marine Drive. It was just one twenty rupees. Okay. Well, four thirty-five versus one twenty—that's quite a bit of difference. But how much time did it take you? Well, I took almost an hour to reach from Bandra to Marine Drive. What about you? Well, thanks to the coastal road, I reached in less than forty minutes. All right, so you got to choose lesser cost or lesser time. So many options now out there in Stacey, and Tanvir seem to be having too much fun on the roads.